Let's go ahead and review some of these examples using a place value chart. First example, round to the nearest 10, we have the number 81. The first thing you want to do is place your numbers on your place value chart. Next, you want to underline the 8 since we're rounding to the nearest 10. Once you go ahead and look at your next door neighbor, which is the number 1, and we notice that the number 1 is not 5 or more. It is 4 or less, so 81 rounds to 80. Let's go ahead and do the next example. Round to the nearest 100, we have the number 467. We first write it in our place value chart. Next, we're going to underline the 4, look over next door, and look at the 6. If it is 5 or more, we're going to add one more to the 4. If it's 4 or less, we're going to let it rest. So now that the number is 6, we're going to go ahead and add one more to the 4. So it will become 5. Everything else will become zeros. So the number 467 rounds to 500. Let's go ahead and round using a different strategy. We have the number 46, and in the rounding hill, we're going to see that 46 is between 40 and 50. So go ahead and write those two endpoints. The star stands for the midpoint. The midpoint between 40 and 50 is the number 45. Next, you're going to start filling up your hill with the numbers. So write 41, 42, 43, 44, 46, 47, 48, and 49. Next, you want to see where the number 46 lies. And remember, anything after the star always rounds up, so 46 rounds to 50. Let's try another example. We're going to round to the nearest 100. We have the number 485. That's between 400 and 500. And the midpoint is 450. We're going to go ahead and start filling up our numbers and count by tens. 410, 420, 430, 440, 460, 470, 480, and 490. We're going to try to find where 485 would lie, and it's going to be between 480, 490, and same as before, anything after the star always rounds up, so 485 rounds to 500. This is an open number line strategy, so we have the example around to the nearest 10, the number 46. We know it's between 40 and 50. And our midpoint is 45. So you're going to try to find where 46 lies. And anything after the star always rounds up. So 46 rounds to 50. We're going to round 342. We know it's between 300 and 400. Midpoint is 350. Next, we're going to try to find where 342 would lie. So it would be before 350. So it's before the star. And remember, anything before the star always rounds down. So 342 rounds to 300.